Welcome to listen our presentation about the book depository. Our presentation is divided into six parts: introduction, information system, website, data model, query information, and recommendation. Now let's move on to the first part: the introduction. The book depository was founded in 2004, and now it is the UK's largest dedicated online bookseller. It has won many awards, such as BDS Direct Book Selling Company of the Year. And now let's move on to the business model of the company. The business model can be defined as the mechanism by which a company intends to specify a market offering. It is a summary of how a company plans to serve its customer and generate revenue. The mission of the company, all books available to all, can be regarded as its core competitive advantage to differentiate itself from other competitors in the industry. It can be interpreted into two parts. The first one is all books available, which means the company tries to offer as many titles as possible to their customer. To achieve these goals, it establishes partnerships with many many suppliers, including bookshops and publishers. Also, it introduces republish programs to republish certain titles of books on the request of their customers. As a result, it can offer the largest range of titles of this world. The second part is to all, which means the company wants to reach as many customers as possible. To do this, the company offers free international delivery to 19 countries, which makes the company can reach customers worldwide. The second part is the information system role in operation. There are two main information systems in the book depository's operation. Firstly, the e-business system provides information to support internal operation. It can be seen from the website that three departments are mainly involved in the online transaction process, which are marketing, finance, and production. Firstly, the marketing department uses information system to keep the customer information and order records from the online transaction process to achieve customer loyalty. Secondly, the finance department will keep records of sales so that accountants can conduct a profitability analysis as well as annual budgeting. Thirdly, the production department uses information provided by e-business system to conduct stock control management. Now let's look at the e-trading system. E-trading system facilitates book depository to achieve supply intimacy, service differentiation, and maintain a low-cost operation. Firstly, the supply intimacy. With the help of electronic data interchange system, supply intimacy is achieved. In book depository, various kinds of data are transferred onto EDI, and orders are arranged through the system. This provides a platform for the supplier to track the sales, so that books can be provided in time. Secondly, the service differentiation. With the support of strong information system building between suppliers, the long tail effect can work well, and it makes the book depository headway. Thirdly, the cost-effective operation. An e-trading system called ALAN facilitates the zero inventory control. It helps the book depository to access a lower menu and storage cost, as well as high operation efficiency. Hence, with the help of information system, competitive advantages are achieved. Now let's look at the website of the book depository. The website of Book Depository is designed to be simple and clear. These features significantly assist customers' decision making as well as online transactions. The advanced search options help customers not only accurately get the results they need, but also allows customers who do not necessarily know what they are looking for make a decision. Firstly, the advanced search options enable customers to classify the searches by inserting specific information such as the publisher, author, keywords, and language. Furthermore, search results can filter by price range, format, and even popularity. The layout of Book Depository's website is clear and tidy with A to Z category on the left-hand side and the special features such as the fast mores on the top of the web pages. Book Depository aims to provide as much information on books as they can. On Book Depository's website, registered customers can write a review about the books they are interested in. Moreover, recommendations such as Christmas gifts, bestsellers, 
editor's topics are also provided on the website. One unique way to make recommendations used by Book Depository is the Watch People Shop feature. Book Depository uses Google Map to illustrate recent purchases and show where the buyer is from. Book Depository has aimed for a simple, safe, and efficient transaction process to further the influence of purchase of customers. Customers can purchase a book without need of creating an account. Of course, customers can also choose to register an account, which makes repeat purchase a lot more straightforward. Besides, Book Depository accepts all major credit cards and PayPal as payment options. Now let's move on to data model, the ER diagram. The first one is customer. Once you register, the information will be stored. One customer makes many orders, and one order is assigned to one payment. An order can consist of many items. Item there means a certain copy of a title book. It is introduced as the intermediary entity so that all the items which are contained in one order can be recorded, and the many-to-many -many relationship between entity order and book can be avoided. And one title book has many items. Book. The detail related to each title book are recorded. This information can support customer decision making and enable customers to find books they want. One supplier supply more than one title of book. The information of supplier are recorded so that the book depository can find the most appropriate supplier to offer certain book soon after customer order it. And one book has many reviews written by customer. However, only a small proportion of title have reviews on this website. The fifth part, querying information. SQL Query 1, Advanced Search and Filter System. Sophia wants to buy her friends a book written by Shakespeare as a Christmas gift. She prefers a hardback book published recently. We do the SQL Query as follows. This SQL gives the condition that the author's name is William Shakespeare and format is hardback. The clause order by facilitates the result list to show in the order that publication date is from new to old. When the record meets these conditions, it will be selected, and the information related to the book will be shown on the screen. SQL Query 2. View book details and customer review. After searching, customer Zhang Xianan is interested in a book, Kitchen Recipes from the Heart of the Home. He wants to see more details about book and other customers' review to make further decision. We do the SQL query as follows. This SQL gives two conditions. On the website, when the customer clicks on the book name and review button, it causes the performing of the SQL query. Then, book details and customer reviews will show on the screen. SQL Query 3, Order Tracking. Customer Zhang Xianan wants to check the order status of the books he bought. He uses his order number to check his order. We do the SQL query as follows. This SQL aims to select information related to order ID from three tables, customer, book, and order. Book table and order table are connected by item table. It gives four conditions. On the website, when a customer types in his order number, it causes the performing of the SQL query, and related information will be showed on the screen. Now, let's look at the last part, recommendation. Based on the technology acceptance model, the ease of use of a target system significantly influences the user's behavior intention to use the system. Hence, it is important to enhance the ease of use of Book Depository's website, and two improvements can be taken into consideration. The first one is to introduce a slide menu to each category page, and the second suggestion is to add a comparing column on the right side of the website. Customers can add books they are interested in to the column and make a comparison about the book information. Finally, it is important for a business to enhance recommender system to help customers trade off between various options more efficiently. So, our suggestion is to make recommendation based on the customer's preferences. This can be implemented by providing a recommendation area on the home page for the repeat customers.
That's all for our presentation. Thank you for watching.